In this section, we'll cover business practices and procedures. It'll also include getting gigs and building referrals. Let's start with reliability. A major factor to any customer. Will you be set up on time? Will your equipment work and sound good? Will you have the music they asked for? Will everyone have a good time? Here's where your reputation begins or ends. When you make a commitment to a customer, a bride or groom, or any corporate client to be somewhere at a certain time or promise particular songs, you must follow through. Nothing will end a career quicker than disappointing a customer. Remember, each event has sometimes hundreds of friends, family, and guests. Although growing up, people always told you that as long as you try really hard, do the best that you can, everything's okay. In this business, it's simply not true. You either do what you've committed to do, or you have failed. There is no excuse for lack of preparation. You will recover from maybe a bad night of getting people to the dance floor, or mispronouncing a name. Not having a bride or groom's special song, being late, or worse, not showing up at all, is just simply unacceptable and will spread throughout the industry at lightning speed. Always approach your mobile DJ business as a professional. Your conduct is part of your reliability. If you're just looking to throw back a six-pack and play your system on 10, don't market yourself to wedding customers. You may be able to get away with that at the local pub or bar. But in the corporate and wedding world, it is again unacceptable. Let's talk for a moment about presentation of your service and yourself or company. When it comes to weddings and family parties, it's my opinion that most customers want to deal with an individual more than a company or a company that will then put you in touch with the individual who will be providing the service for the actual event. When you think about it, it's more than just playing music. If it's a wedding, it's the most important or one of the most important days of anyone's life. If it's a corporate event, the person that's booking the gig has a responsibility to the company and wants to do a great job. When it comes to corporate customers, many party planners will use companies that they've used in the past or reputable booking agents to fill the dates for events. Here's a helpful hint when you're building your DJ business. Use your own name instead of a company name. More wedding customers prefer to deal with individuals than companies. Agents are more likely to book you as a DJ by name than by a company name. If you decide to add DJs later on and expand your business, you can always add the word agency or company, branding your name as the company. Booking agencies are very protective of their customers and are really looking to book individuals and not companies. We'll talk a little bit more about that in our marketing section. If you do choose to use a name of a company instead of your name, avoid using silly or tacky names. Remember, you're starting a business. Picture yourself telling all your friends and family who the DJ is at your wedding or corporate event. How serious can someone take you with a name like Pump Up Your Wedding DJ Service or Macho Man Music or Budget DJs? These are just made up names, I hope, but I think you get the idea. And remember, anytime you use the word less or budget, you'll achieve exactly that. You'll get less and you'll be the budget DJ. Your image is important, not just on paper, but also when people call on the phone. Phone technique and follow-up is really important. It's the first contact with your company. If at all possible, avoid using an answering machine. People want to speak to individuals. When your customers call, they'll keep calling until they reach a real person. Some people will leave messages on answering machines, but it doesn't leave a good first impression. The way to beat the competition is to hire an answering service. It's relatively inexpensive and it's a surefire way to beat the competition. Having a professional person answer your phone and gather information ahead of time is a guaranteed way to get more gigs than your competitors. Most customers will feel that you have an office staff 
but even if they do know that it's an answering service, it reflects well on your business that you take it very seriously and are very professional. When a live professional person takes down information from a customer, the customer feels like they've been taken care of. Unlike when they leave a message on some voicemail or tape, when you call the customer back, you've got basic information in hand so that you can either set up a meeting or book the gig. It also builds more value in your service so that you can command more money. We've covered some business practice and presentation to help you close customers when they call. Now let's talk about how to get the phone to ring. How to get your first gigs. Getting gigs requires, as they say in the business, you to pay your dues. You can't get gigs unless people see you, and people can't see you unless you're able to play gigs. People generally hire DJs because they've seen them at an event, or someone else has seen them at an event and referred them, or the venue where they're holding the event has recommended you, Many times your referrals come from a vendor in the industry. For example, if it's a wedding, it could be the cake person that recommended you. It could be the videographer. It could be the photographer. It could be the florist. Many times all of these people are contacted before they book the DJ. So you can sometimes get referrals from more than one of these vendors. Here's how you do it. Help these vendors to do their jobs communicate with them, work with them, network with them. Because when you help someone do their job, they'll remember you and refer you. When you don't help someone do their job, well, they'll remember you. If you're just getting started in the business and haven't done any gigs with these vendors, it's a good idea to go around and introduce yourself to these vendors. Ask them what they look for in a good DJ Ask them what they look for in a person when they recommend them. Anyone that's been in the function or wedding business for any amount of time is bound to have some great insight in the industry. You need to keep an open mind and always learn. Even seasoned veterans have room to grow. Be careful about getting information from other DJs in your market. They're really not looking out for your best interest. And as in many industries, the people with the least amount of experience are always the first to volunteer knowledge. Keep that in mind. Stand clear of other DJs that perhaps want to sell you their business or their equipment. There's usually a pretty good reason why they want to do that. So let's get your first gig. There's so many opportunities for gigs all around us. All you need is to contact any or all nonprofit organizations in your area. Offer your services. All are looking for money-making opportunities and you could be the hero to help them. By donating your services, this is your chance to use your newly learned skills to help them put an event together. When a successful event takes place, you can get your first letter of recommendation for payment. Make sure that you negotiate that. And almost always a referral for future gigs. If you find that none of these nonprofit organizations have any parties scheduled or in the future plans, come up with an idea or a concept for a party. Sell yourself. Negotiate your name in all of the advertising posters, ads, and tickets. This will help you to gain recognition and brand your name. And remember, successful gigs lead to more gigs. The Mobile DJ Road to Success reveals and instructs you on the things that make people want you as a mobile DJ for their event and help to point out the qualities that people are willing to pay more for. Those are the reasons why people in the industry will recommend you. Not because you paid them for the referral, because you make them look good when the customer is happy with your service. Once again, wedding, function facilities, as well as vendors, photographers, videographers, recommend the people that make their jobs easier, plain and simple.